In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can um, create pages in Moodle so that you can add lecture materials. So make sure your editing is turned on. And I'm going to scroll down here to my lecture materials. And I'm going to say add an activity or resource. And down under the resources list, I'm going to choose uh, to add a page. So I need to give my page a name. I'm going to give it the, the name of the topic of my lecture. So I'll call it Creativity. And I need to give a description. You can give a full description or um, you can keep it simple. And down here at the bottom, um, I've got my page content. And this is where I'm going to add in my lecture materials. So I want to start out with an image. So I'm going to put a picture in here. And I do that by clicking on the image icon, the little mountains. And for this first picture, I want to add a picture that I've found online. So I'm going to leave this page for a moment and um, go up here where I found a picture on the web. I want to add this picture to my lecture, but I can't add it from here. I have to actually put this in its own window. So I'm going to right click on it. Uh, or control click, click on your Mac and choose open image in new tab and that brings my image into its own page and if I look at the URL I can see that it ends with .jpg as long as that ending is an image format if you've got an image extension like .jpg or PNG or GIF then you can use this to um, insert your image. So I'm going to copy that text and go back to my page and where it says image URL I'm just going to paste that URL in and say insert. Whoops, look what happened. I'm going to cancel that. I need to add an image description and that is so anyone who's using a screen reader and can't see this image will know what's there. So I'll say creativity poster and insert. So there's my image. Uh, I can't really see my page, so what I'm going to do is click on this little icon, which puts me into the full screen mode. So this is what my page looks like right now. If I want this picture to be a different size, I can click on it and I can just resize it here. Hold down my shift key, click, and make it smaller. I can't do that if it's a huge picture, but if I'm just changing it a little bit, that works. If you've got a really big picture, you'll want to resize it in Photoshop or some other image editing program so that it um, will load quickly. Otherwise, your page will load very slowly. So now I'm going to add a title to my page. So I'll make sure I have a large font and I'll make it red. And I'll type it in here. Okay, so there's the top of my page. Now I'm going to add some text. So I need to drop it down to a smaller font size. And I'll type in my text. Some people think that schools have killed creativity. Okay, we'll just work with that. And so I'll have my first bit of my lecture here. Okay, that's my initial part of my lecture. So now I want to add another image, but this time I want to add an image that I have saved on my computer. So I'm going to click on the little image icon again, and I'm going to choose Find or Upload an Image. And I'll choose a file. And I have one on my computer here that I want to use. So I'll click Open and upload this file. And then I need to give it a description. So I'll call this a creative dance. And choose Insert. And here's the picture that I in inserted that I already had uh, saved on my computer. OK, so I'll add a little bit more lecture here. Okay, now let's say that I would like to add a video to my lecture. So I've found a video over here of um, 
Ken Robinson talking about how schools have killed creativity and I want to add that to my page so I need to look for the embed code and in this particular case it's right here with the little uh, embed icon so I'm going to click on that and here I can choose whichever size I'd like and I think I'll leave it at 640 by 360 and then all I need to do is copy and paste this code so I'm going to copy the code go back to my website and I'm going to add the code here but I have to be in the code view so I'll go up here and click on this little icon for HTML and I'll go right down to the bottom of my page and I'll paste that code in that I just copied and click update and that inserts the video right on my page now of course I might want that centered on the page so I can just highlight that and choose center and it moves my video right over to the center of the page I could do that with my image as well select the image and choose center so you can organize it that way now you can embed lots of different kinds of materials multimedia on your page so um, let's add a little bit more text here whoops remember that's not going to work because that was my code so I'm just going to copy this paragraph and paste it below. You, of course, would be writing more text to connect all of these uh, all of these resources you have because you're not going to just link to a bunch of resources in your lecture. You're going to write a cohesive lecture, and these resources that you're putting in, all of this multimedia, help to support the story you're telling within your lecture. Okay, so let's say I'd like to add a little PowerPoint presentation. And I've found one on SlideShare. And SlideShare is a place where we can share all of our PowerPoint presentations with the world. So I want to find, I found this one called Managing Creative Thinking Skills that I thought was quite good. So I'm going to click up here on the share link. And I'm going to find the embed code right here. And I'm going to copy that embed code. Again, I can choose the size I want. So maybe I want it a bit bigger. Highlight that code, copy it, go back to my um, to my class, click on the embed code, and down at the bottom I'm going to paste that embed code. There it is. Again, I can center it. Okay, so let's say that's the end of my lecture. I'm going to go out of the full screen mode, back to uh, back to my editing page and say choose save and return to course so there's my lecture called creativity when I click on it here's my lecture my students can simply simply click and watch the video there's the video they can click on the slideshow and work their way right through it right within the lecture. So that's all it takes to create a lecture. All it takes plus a little bit of research to know what you're talking about. Um, and I think that's all you need to know.